Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here we have completed up to the switch case, right? And now we need to work on the update results. So this is the line we need to test it. So up to here, all the lines we have tested. Now we need to test this update result. So here, if you go to our main.spec.js file, now there is no need to uh, write this uh, test case. Why? Because so we have we have deleted this. Uh, default statement right so here we have the default statement for validating so there is no there is no need for the default case so for that reason we can remove it now we need to write the test case for the last line that is update result now here what this one will do update result so whenever we are sending an expression so it will try to match that whether it is a valid expression or not if the expression is passed it will call the instance of the calculator and it will do the appropriate operation and whatever the result, whatever the output we are getting, so it will update the result in the DOM. So this is the thing we are doing. So update result, we will update the result in the DOM. So first, let's try to spy on this update result. Now if you go to the main.spec.js, so we can remove this one from the pending state. So why? Because we are writing the function body. So here function and in this function, we need to spy on the update result. First one, we need to spy on the update result. Let's go spy on window comma and we are going to spy on the update result right so this is the spy on update result now what we need to do we need to calculate and I, let's call the multiplication okay 3 into 3 so i am calling the expression 3 into 3 3 into 3 means it is 9 so now in the main.js file so it will go to the expression and it is a valid and it will go to the appropriate multiplication case and it will do the multiplication so the result will be 9 and it will update the result with 9 now let's go to the main.spec.js file and here i will be writing the expectation first one is expect window dot update result dot to have been called so i am checking with window dot update result to have been called or not now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output so now it has been called so now we got the calls update result has been successfully passed now the second one what i need to check is now we need to check that window dot update results to have been called with okay to have been called with 9 so 9 is the round right 3 into 3 is 9 so it has been called with 9 or not we need to check it so fine let's try to see it so this one also got passed so if you go to here update result this one also got passed so it's perfect so now we got what we have did so update result for this update result we have, we are checking that the update result what we are checking the update result has been successfully called with the result 9 and also this update result has also been called now we need to test another one uh, what is that one is so for example we need to know that whether it has called this multiplication number or not so now we, whether it has called whether it has called multiply number or not we need to check it right so if we check this one and it updated the, the result that has came the 9 has came from this multiplication only then we then then our test result will be successfully passed right so we are we will be sure that okay it has run the multiply case and it has updated the value with 9 so we will be we will be assured so we need to get the assurance that one so how we can get the assurance so here i need to do what i need to do so expect calculator okay calculator dot so we know that calculator dot prototype dot multiply so multiply i need to check to have been called or not we need to check it to have been called or not we need to check okay so for this one to check expect calculator dot prototype dot multiply if it has been called or not if you want to check means we are doing the spying on this one so let's, let's write the spy on this one also so calculator dot prototype prototype and we need to call multiply here okay so we are call, we are spying on this calculator dot prototype multiply and we are checking that spy that whether it has been called or not we need to check in the jasmine whether it has been called or not uh, called or not means we need to spy on that particular method so that we can use this method now this one is completed now let's go here and let's try to check it now if you try to see expected spy result we got error and we are we are getting some error so now so now what i can do is so i i will comment let's comment out this one 
and let's go here and write and let's execute this one so what we are getting here so it is getting success so that means update result is calling and also it is calling it is calling with the multiply multiply method is also calling now i want to check that that window dot update result has a value of nine or not? I want to check it. So now what I will try to do here when I try to refresh this page. Sorry, let's try to save this one. Okay, I have saved this one. And now when I try to run this one, now we are getting error that expected spy update result. So we are getting the error that expected spy result update result to have born to have been called with nine. But the actual call was undefined we are getting so what is the problem here we are having so the problem is now we are spying on this multiply call so whenever we are doing on this spy spy on we have already discussed that this when you are spying on this multiply it will not call the real object it will not call the real function it will not call the multiply uh, it will not call the real function it will not return anything it will not do anything so just it will spy on and it will create in a such a way that that we have called that function so it will it will assume us so it has called the, it has called the multiplication function so like that it will happen so that means in reality that multiply method when we are spying on that one the multiply method is not work, is not calling so for that reason we are getting undefined so actually we are getting undefined 3 into 3 is not happening if you want to see more means so here we can go here and i can do calculator.js here i can go and what is that one multiply right I can add a debugger here okay so whenever I had I have added a debugger here if I go inspect element if I try to do the inspect element here if I try to refresh it see the debugger is not hitting why because so we are spying on this multiply method in the main.js so that that uh, when we are spying on that one the actual implementation will not be called for example let's see let's try to see in the main.spec.js I am removing this spying and also I am reviewing this expectation also. Now we are not spying on this multiply. We are just spying on this update result. Now let's try to see. So now if you try to see here see immediately the multiply method debugger has been called with the number 3. So that is the only number right 3 into 3. So for example if I, write, if I try to write 3 into 9. Now if you try to see it has been called with. Now let's try to refresh it. Yeah now it has been called with 9. So that means successfully here that multiply method is calling. But now what the scenario is we need to spy on this multiply so that we can check that uh, sure that multiply method has been called or not for the updating of this result. So we need to check it. So what we need to do here. So here we have another ma another matcher that is nothing but and call through. So how we have checked that and stop. So we can use and call through here so that now it will spy on that multiply and also this call through will call the real implementation of that multiply method so now it will call the method so whenever you are using call through it will call that it will spy on that multiply method and also it will call the real implementation of it now if you try to see the output see it is calling the 9 and if i try to raise it so here we are able to get the so here we are able now still we are able to get the output why because expected spy update result to have called with 9 but the actual call is 27 so what is happening here so here multiply has been calling so now 3 into 9 we have changed the number right so 3 into 9 is 27 so now we need to update it with 27 now if we try to see the output so now the debugger it is calling the multiply and the update result also has been executed now let's try to remove this debugger okay so now if i try to run all the specs if i close this console now here calls update result is successfully called so now we have successfully spied on the update result and also spied on this multiply and made this multiply also to call the real implementation so whenever you are using this call through means it will spy on that multiply method and also it will call that real implementation that is the main thing you need to remember and here spy on update result means it will not call the real implementation of this update result so here we have we are able to check that window update result have been called or not we have checked and also it has been called the multiply or not also we have checked and here the update result also to have been called with 27 we are checking so this is how we will be implementing when we want to execute the method and also spy on that one means we can use this call through method. Hope you understood about this call through method. And if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. I will try to give the reply. And also if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.